This is one of the last seasonal weeklies that we're gonna checking out. I think that this is one of the most anticipated animes too. We checked out a trailer. It's a girl that's like tied up to a chain for the sake of the thumbnail. She's very nice. Uh, other than that, it's like a guy that used to be like a hero or some shit, and then everyone like forgot him, right? And then it's like not an isekai, but it's like a totally different world or something. Let's check out what all the hype is all about. Oh, we're gonna already see the chained up scene already. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that. This, this, this is what I'm talking about. This was the scene. That was that was a scene that was used to just capture everyone's coomer brains, bro. On the Advertisements. Hello. <laughs> so funny. All the fuck. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and booba legs, boom. She's got like half angel, half demon. Alternate races and humans have waged a fierce war against each other. So she is an alternate race, I guess, whatever that means. Uh, so no so That's Black and white feathers. There's a title drop. MC is Kai. Why? It's like a pyramid thing. Demons. Celestials. Angels and Elves. Ghosts. Four different factions. Ghosts, mystical beasts, demons, angels, and elves. Okay. Alternate races. Great war of the five races. Sounds like 41 to me. They're all sealed away in the graveyard. Got it. And because he said that, they're going to become unsealed very soon, right? いいじゃない。熊が逃げ出したなんてことこの100年で一度だってあるか。俺たち人類仕事を仕事にしてる。正論だね。え、あ、俺たちだけ真面目にやっても、しょうがなくないか。俺たちだけ真面目にやっても、
Mete Vanessa. Oh, are they show oh, why is Vanessa not being shown? But basically, each of the four races also has a hero. Hero of the demons, Dark Empress Vanessa. Mete Vanessa. Ghost hero. Looks like a slime to me. Bang king? Not queen? I mean, it's a king. Okay. That was a cat girl, but I guess it's a cat boy? Yo, Sid is OP. All a conspiracy made up by the humans? Maybe the four races aren't evil. Maybe the humans are evil and now we're making bullshit up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> ジャンヌの少女。ジャンヌは王地上最年少の17歳で大抜擲された。エリート中のエリートなん決まってるじゃない。私たち同期からのプレゼントがそんなありきたりでいいの？明朝十時、大級ターミナルの金子総前に集合
to make so so he went there and then he hold on what did she say but wasn't it then that you started to say it's your duty so no one gave him his calling like you know when sao ugo was chopping down the demon tree for like all his life because it was his calling given to him bro was like all right I i'm gonna take it upon myself to check on this pyramid every five e e like every day for five minutes bro is dedicated towards the cause <laughs> Truck-kun's ready. Truck-kun is ready. Go. It's your time. It's your time to shine. Give us an isekai right now. Come on. Do something. Oh! No, 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 no! Shane! Now is not a cunny rom com time, John. <laughs> she is so down bad. But at the end, she just basically said, Can I get my hopes up for various things? Well, it's a little bit too late. <laughs> World reincarnation. Everyone's gone. Post-apocalyptic world. All right. All right, we're halfway in. Halfway in now. I expect the last half to be pretty exciting. You know what? Now it's getting pretty exciting. You, you, this is the hook I was waiting for. This is the hook of episode one. Let's go. Oh. Again, no CGI. That's crazy to me. They, they, it's always going to be CGI. They're going to make it darker, and then it's going to make CGI to hide the shitty CGI. But wow. Gunblade, all right, he can cancel, you know, magic startups to magic circles. Okay, we got Mahoka guns in up in here. Shoot, that was affected. The blade did nothing, but the trigger of the bullet just like blasted him, bro. It was like ding, nothing, and then beside. <laughs> All right, he beat a demon-looking thing. The bullets are way more and more efficient compared to the Drake bullet that reproduces mythical beast breath. So he can basically infuse his bullets with different racial traits and they'll be stronger. Before it was an elven bullet, we got a mystical beast bullet. You're gonna have a demon bullet. Okay. Another one! Yes, sir. Yeah, why can we do that? That's why he knows how to use human language. Wham, that is disrespectful. Damn. Damn, I can't believe he just called us a slave pretty much, bro. Wait, she's still here? No, they don't know us. Also, nice ass Saki. So everyone forgot us. I, it's, it's the characters that we know, but she just said Wanderer Secure, so they don't know us. So, they all forgot about him, huh? 
Kai? Kai is a name for a heart. How about the fact that you guys are wearing the same like uniforms too, like the same identical outfits, right? Like, what the fuck's going on? Heart? Asura, you are Asura, right? Well, the badge is actually a bit different. I'm not sure if this this sigil here, right? I'm not sure if this and this changed. Maybe this guy's changed after porting, right? And the girl too, her sign is a bit different from this. I'm I'm not sure what that's this is supposed to even represent, but like, you really don't think we're we're one of you? お、お、悪い。どっかで会ったことあるか。クマに襲われてこんなんしてるのよ、きっと。覚えてないな。ああ、they it's the situation where Prophet Sid never won, and the demons and all the other four races are basically enslaving humanity, and now this is part of the resistance. Humanity lost. Yo, what about Prophet Sid and his OP sword? No, we're like demon slaves. Actually, let me just check then. We're at 1611 right now. Let's look at Jean again, just to remember her face. This is Jean. Now, if you go in the beginning of that girl, does she also have... Hair color is so different. But the hairstyle... I could believe it. I don't know, the only connection I'm making is like, I don't know, you have this interesting girl that showed up out of nowhere. But, but Jean's titties aren't that big though. I made that direct comparison. You know, Jean's, Jean is not that busty. I don't know. It, 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 maybe. That's the only guess that I could be able to make, but okay, let's go back. Yeah, eye color, of course. The hairstyles are all different. But the shape, maybe. Yo, someone check the fucking voice actors. <laughs> Someone check the voice actors if there's a character list for Jean and that girl and any- Ah, that's kind of a spoilers, but... Okay. The Resistance Base. Neo Vishal, okay. I think that this is how civilization is also going to move in the next like 50 years. As climate change gets worse and worse, as everything gets burnt up and you know, the weather is so fucking bad that we can't live in. Like we're going to be living in like underground cities, like straight up. This is the future dude. Yeah. Where is the prophet Sid and the hero, the sword? What? No, 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 we know that, we already know that, we already know that. I, I thought that meant, like, they all have their own prophets that, like, banded all the races together. No, 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 we already know about the four heroes that's told them. Mm. Never existed here, huh? And the world here lost because he didn't exist here yet. So I guess prophet said doesn't exist in this timeline. Why would he not? What even happened before, right? Well, there's, there's a couple key things for this plot right now. So, he apparently fell... When, it, when he went to the graveyard at 10 years old, he said that he saw the sword, right? We saw that. He, like, touched the sword and it, like, illuminated and then it disappeared. And then, uh, there was some talks with Jean and stuff. And, and then what happened? And then some... And Jean got, like, sucked into a portal. Then we got shafted here in a different timeline. Are we supposed to be the prophet Sid of this timeline then? Like, is, is that what's supposed to be? He's like the reincarnation. He is like the one that inherited prophet Sid's sword. You know, he touched it. And now the mission is to save this time. But why does this timeline exist? I don't fucking know. Why would they overwrite the timeline? John! それぞれにいるんだ。オッケー。レジスト
Yeah, I guess it's, you know, the girl in the beginning is not Jean, right? It's, I mean, Jean is herself here. Then, damn, she just dripped out. But goddamn, and even in this timeline, like, she has no bust. Like, look at that, bro. Look, he, did they, he, wait, did they say he? Hold up. I was gonna make fun of the bust here, but wait, 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 not the face of him. <laughs> it's a fanboy. Jean's a fanboy in this timeline. Got it? Damn, bro. The most masculine man in all of anime right here. Damn, bro. Look at those masculine eyelashes. Maybe they intentionally made Jean flat in like the first half of the episode because they're like, yeah, well, she's gonna be a man later, so just fucking, yeah, you know, let's just do that. So, ignored. Ignored. Oh, shit. They're like, yeah, there's a crazy one. Yeah, take him out. Take him to the mental war. This guy's insane. <laughs> Nobody remembers, bro. Nobody. Cool. <laughs> 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 It could be true, right? Everyone here is under the assumption that she's a she's a man, but like she straight up could be protected to be got under the armor. No, honestly, like not even him being confused with the previous timeline and then expecting that Jean to be consistent here. Like you never know. She straight up could be fucking hiding for whatever reason. There's quite the reaction from her there, right? Did you hear the? Uh, right? Once once he confronted her. Look at the sound that she made. That's a bad impression, man. <sighs> that midriff. <laughs> Yeah. Meaning maybe you are prophesied now. You be said. So this is a book in this world? Right? And the seals exist here. Okay. No one's questioned this either. If they're not meant to seal demons, like, why do they exist, right? Show the book. That's weird. Because she he acted as if, you know, they're just friends. That's like muscle memory. That's like instinct, right? He's like, all right, take the keys, bro. But he's like, wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait, 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 why did I just do that? Interesting, you know, behaviors from your other timeline. Okay. What is the graveyard here for? Who is sealed? Uh, prophesied? Or four separate races? But maybe in this one, there's only one? Mm. <gasps> Someone went in! The sword again. <gasps> He's the chosen one. Hold up. Whoa, voice message. Oh, the code. Again, 
The sword's gone though. Sid's sword. Maybe the girl is Sid, man. Who knows? This is Prophet Sid. What's her name? I don't know. Hello. <laughs> Intro recap scene. <laughs> Kai. Save me. <laughs> Nah, dude, this is the demon lord. You free her and we're fucking dead, bro. Don't listen to her. Don't let your horny get in the way, guys. Do not. No. Get the fuck out of here. Are you going to really let her go like that? And that's episode one. The boy forgotten by the world. And you know what? In the first uh, seven minutes, it was a bit sluggish, but doing a lot of lore drop. But they, they did a pretty well job in trying to... It, there's a lot of things going on in this show right now, right? So they, they did a really decent, decent job at just like introducing the lore. The premise is basically long time ago, four separate races against humans. Prophet Sid was given a sword by the god, right? Prophet Sid was given the sword by the god depicting this picture. And with the sword, Sid was able to seal the four races away in these pyramids, these gravestones, right? Graveyard. But then all of a sudden, uh, distortion of reality happens. This world gets overwritten with the other timeline, and it's a timeline where Prophet Sid never beat the humans. In fact, if in the graveyard we saw the sword and the sword illuminated something, code holder, and we got to this other place, this seems like she's sealed away. So one could interpret that she is Prophet Sid that got sealed away in this timeline. I'm not completely sure, but I'm kind of following. Another plot point is like Jean not uh, being a woman, but clearly I think that she is a woman, just simply using armor to uh, hide her identity as a man. Why is she doing that? I'm not sure. The only reason that you would hide yourself as a, your identity as a woman, as a man in the old times is, is so that during solo adventure times, you know, you wouldn't be preyed upon because like the more that you're shown like a feminine person alone, Predators are going to try to get for you. So it's like sometimes back in the day, people would like, you know, try to look boyish when they're adventuring and going elsewhere. But I don't think Jean really needs that right now. I'm not sure. But first episode, it's one of the most interesting shows so far. I think it's trying to be pretty smart. I hope that it's going to be like a smart big brain show where it's just like, oh my God, this plot's crazy. Or maybe we're just getting, we're, maybe we're just getting set up for no fucking reason. And I agree. The CGI is absolutely non-existent in this anime. Maybe some points here and there with the assets or the magic spells, but nothing that made me feel like it was like a whiplash every time it just transfers back from non-CGI to CGI scenes. So the animation has been pretty fucking good. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.